Bob Eckel is the resident liberal on Fox News. <laughs> okay. Well, you know already this is funny. Uh, but he's lately taken upon himself to do a jihad against all Muslims. Uh, now, he had gotten in some degree of trouble before when he said, after the Boston bombings, that we should not allow Muslims to get visas to enter this country anymore. Blanket. Not Muslim radicals, not Muslim terrorists, not even Muslim fundamentalists that you could worry about, hey, well, what if they got radicalized, right? No, blanket statement. All Muslims can't come into the country anymore if Bob Beckel, the liberal on Fox News, had his way. Well, he's decided, not good enough. I'm going to take it a little bit more over the time. Now, in this case, the program, the five that he's on, they were talking about the Islamic militant group Boko Haram, which is in Nigeria, not the United States of America. Nonetheless, here's what Beckel says. This, this specific group targets schools and kills kids. They are a bunch of thugs murderers and they go after schools that have the christian schools they've done this they burn them down we don't do that here if we burn down your mosque here you'd be really upset the fact of the matter is these guys are murderers they're terrorists and if this is what the prophet told you to do then the prophet was wrong now i already got enough bail from you all and you don't like what i say about not letting your students come here if it were up to me i would not have another mosque built in this country until we got it worked out who was not a terrorist. And by the oh, way, we go. has somebody out there, is any Muslim out there, any Muslim cleric, any Muslim leader said, said anything about this? No, you're cowardly because you're afraid they're going to put a, what they call the fatwa on you. Well, fatwa this. <laughs> put her there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And they're so excited on Fox. They're like, oh, that's the liberal we like. <laughs> you know, just smear one billion Muslims and be the most open bigot on Fox News when you're the liberal. High five! And same thing after everyone. Oh, they didn't condemn. See, these Muslim groups, they never condemn anything. Now, I've already shown you dozens of quotes from every major Muslim American group condemning every attack. But in case you weren't clear, you know, there's the thing that got them excited in the first place and said we shouldn't give the visas is the Boston bombings. Here's what the largest Muslim American group, uh, which is the Care had said, and that's this is their executive director, uh, Nihad Awad. He said, American Muslims, like Americans of all backgrounds, condemn in the strongest possible terms today's cowardly bomb attack on participants and spectators of the Boston Marathon. But after every one of these events, some idiot like Bob Beckel gets on TV and says, oh, they never say anything. Well, idiot, you didn't ask. You didn't look. How hard do they have to scream? In fact, they would come on Fox News and read that statement, but you won't let them. And then you say, oh, no, no, well, yeah. they didn't say it. They didn't say, oh, no, no. And a Nigerian bombing, I don't even know if, who knew about the Nigerian I Does this, this care a Muslim American group have a responsibility? And they probably put out a statement anyway. <laughs> to go over there and say what they did in Nigeria is wrong. No, this is a way of attacking all Muslims. They have forgotten that they're supposed to be subtle about it. And Bob Beckel comes out here and says basically no more mosques in America. Ironically, because of, again, a bombing in Nigeria that has nothing to do with Muslim Americans at all. Right? But facts be damned. And let's just call a spade a spade. I mean, Bob Beckel is a bigot. He is a person who is incredibly foolish and hateful to think that all... You remember, in the beginning of that statement, he started talking about the Nigerian group. And then he transitioned to all Muslims. All Muslims are trained to be terrorists from the beginning. Now, I'm an agnostic now. I don't believe in any of the religions. Fundamentalist Islam drives me crazy. Fundamentalist Christianity does, etc. I think fundamentalism is a scourge of the earth. I'm very clear on that. Okay. But when I was born into a Muslim family, they didn't train me to be a terrorist. They didn't train any of my, you know what they trained us for? Soccer. Okay. Now, I mean, come on. How hateful do you have to be to say that? I, apparently, he knows no Muslims, doesn't care to know them, and would kick them out of the country and prevent them from worshiping if he had his chance. These are the guys who, by the way, are supposed to stand for faith. Oh, there's a war on Christmas. We stand for faith. I mean, of course, our faith, not your faith. We hate your faith. We'd like to declare a holy war on your faith. And we'd like to get our resident liberal to do it. And this is the oldest Fox News trick in the book. I, no, the conservatives didn't say it. We brought on a liberal to say the most 
horrible thing you could possibly imagine. Sure, yes, of course, look, that. Oh, don't blame me, it's the liberal who thinks that there should be no more mosques in America, no more Muslims admitted in America. The problem with people like Beckel is that they start wars and they get a lot of people killed, right? Because this, this is how you do hate propaganda and so oh, it's all of us versus all of them. And it's, it's not the fundamentalists that are doing the bombings, whether it's the, by the way, of course, the Atlanta bombings, the Olympic bombings done by a Christian fundamentalist, the abortion clinic bombings done by Christian fundamentalists, should we stop building all churches? Of course, they're not going to mention that on Fox News. They would lose their minds if you mentioned it on there, right? It's not that. It's not the terrorists. It's, no, no, no. It's us versus them. And so it's Bob Beckel tries to get you to hate all of them. And what does that lead to? Will it lead to some hate crimes in America? Of course it will. And is Bob Beckel partly responsible for that? Yeah, of course he is. He's trying to get you to hate all Muslims, and then some idiots will react by attacking, by the way, Muslims and non-Muslims, like the shooting at the Sikh temple. They always go after the Sikhs first. Sikhs are not Muslims. But if you're an idiot who listens to Bob Beckel, you're so stupid, you'd believe anything and, and attack the wrong guy. Besides which, if you attacked a Muslim, you'd be attacking the wrong guy. And most of the Muslims that are in this country came to this country because they love America. And they're secular. And they believe in the idea of America. And instead, Bob Beckel turns around and says, attack them. And then that idea grows and grows and grows until you've got two camps that hate each other and go to war. And in which case, Bob Beckel is, is ecstatic because he's a hate monger. And he's a loathsome guy who wants to spew his hate which is boiling and apparently very much building inside of him.